Hey, good afternoon everybody, it's Corey here. Look at me, I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> In my last walking video from a few days ago, I had several questions from a lot of you guys about why people wear face masks. So I wanted to start off the video wearing a face mask. So there's several reasons. Um, first and foremost, hygiene. So if I'm sick, I don't wanna spread it to other people. And if it's like flu season or something like that, a lot of people are you know, walking around with colds and stuff. You don't wanna catch that as well. So it's kind of like prevention from spreading or getting a, a cold or a flu or anything like that. So that's like the, the first like main reason, right? Um, the second one is allergies. When pollen's all over Japan, it's really heavy. And if you have allergies, it can really bother your respiration system, you know, your eyes and like all kinds of stuff. So um, wearing a mask helps like reduce the effects of that. Air pollution, not so much. Don't get me wrong. A crow like <laughs> there's a crow right above me air pollution not so much although some people do wear it for air pollution tokyo does have air pollution but not like uh seoul korea or hanoi vietnam not on those levels where you just can't even see any buildings or anything but there are days where it is kind of hazy um, it is to be expected it's a very large city so people do wear masks sometimes for that reason another reason why people wear masks is because of the fact that maybe they didn't put their makeup on they were too lazy they're just like screw it i'm going to the store i don't want to put on makeup and uh so i'm just gonna wear a mask another one is uh if they have like a scar or something they're kind of self-conscious about their face and so they'll kind of you know cover it up so they don't want anyone to see something's like wrong with their lips or whatever I don't know if they've got like herpes or something, but that, that's another reason. And then another big reason, um, which is kind of why I wear the mask, is anonymity, to be anonymous. You know, while you're walking around, um, you know, maybe you're introverted like I am. It's a little uh, uncomfortable, like showing your face or whatever around out in public. So a lot of people, they just wear the mask to remain anonymous, you know, and that's totally okay. So there's all those different reasons. And then um, some people wear it as a fashion statement. Uh, like in Korea, you see them with the black masks and they have designs and all kinds of cool stuff, cool colors and whatnot. Uh, so there is a, a kind of a fashion accessory element to it as well. You'll see people walking around with um, the masks just like this, just like under their chin to hide maybe a double chin. Um, so there's all kinds of different ways to use this thing, but that's why you see a lot of people in Japan walking around with the mask. So I'm gonna take mine off just so I can talk and you guys can hear me clearly through the microphone. But uh, I did want to show you that. Um, and I do wear it for anonymity, to be anonymous while I'm walking around, while I'm on the train and stuff. Uh, people will see my eyes and they, they see the Asian part of it and they're just like, okay, this guy must, maybe he's Japanese, I don't know. And they just, anyways, so it's just to blend in a little bit. So where are we guys? We are at Kame Ari Station. There's the station right there. That's the north entrance and this station is I don't know, like four or five stops away from my station, Kitamatsudo, coming towards Tokyo City. So I think this area is actually technically within the Tokyo City line. I'm not sure. It might be at the very edge right before it or right after it. Anyways, we're really close to the Tokyo like city line, you know? So we're going to go ahead and just kind of walk around and explore as we usually do. It's about 4.45 p.m. right now. Um, it's overcast. I thought it was going to rain, so I brought an umbrella but uh, I don't think it's gonna rain. But yeah, so it's kind of dark. Um, I do apologize for that, but let's go ahead and take a look around uh, Kameyari Station area. Yeah, so there you can see a train has arrived at the station. There's kind of a, like a big department store mall right here. Um, Ito, ya uh, what is it called? Ito Yokado. It's a, kind of a big chain here. We've got some bus stops and whatnot just around this little circle area. I do apologize, it's a little bit windy. Got a nice bookstore here, just chill. Um, magazines and stuff, porn, of course, with the porn. <laughs> it's just very common to see like any kind of a bookstore or magazine rack, it's like half the rack is all porn or soft porn or, you know, things of that nature. So around here, like, I've mentioned in many of my videos when we're kind of near a train station, that's where most of the nightlife is. That's where the restaurants and the bars, the cafes, um, entertainment centers like Pachinko Parlor, like for example, 
Uh, what is this one? This one's called Dynam, Dynamu. And this is a pachinko hall. Yeah, so most of these pachinko places, they have pachinko and slot machines, both. We're not gonna go in there because it is loud. <laughs> Hey, look at this, tobacco machines. You know what? I, I used to smoke cigarettes back in the day, and what started it was the fact that there was cigarette vending machines everywhere, like on every corner. Nowadays, you don't see too many. This is the first time I've seen a cigarette vending machine in a long time. And you can kind of see, here's the price of a pack of Marlboros. 510 yen, I don't know, that's like just under five bucks. And then they've got these new e-cigarettes. Um, I think the, the big one in Japan is called Ikos. And it's essentially like a, an electronic stick and then you actually put a regular cigarette into it and it like vaporizes the tip of the cigarette. And anyways, that's a big thing here. You don't really see people vaping too much. There's a mailbox. What else we got around here? So as we discover this place, you know, for me, this is like also a new experience. Let's go in here. I wasn't gonna go in there, but I did. And just like last time, I am now deaf. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Smelled like cigarettes all up in there. Secondhand smoke like crazy. Anyways, it's Sunday. So Sunday, like late afternoon, people are chilling. You could see it was kind of packed, sort of. But that is a part of Japanese life, Japanese daily life for a lot of people. Go to work, go play pachinko, go home. Um, let's see, some little side street areas. I I'm gonna try to go to the other side of the train station. Down in these areas here on Sunday right now, it's kind of like most of the restaurants aren't open yet. They're close. <gasps> Look at the little poodle. <laughs> Sorry, distracted as usual by doggies. Yeah, so I'm gonna actually backtrack and go to the other side of the train station. Yeah, so I've only been to this area one time before and I noticed that on this side, on the north exit of the train station is where a lot of the restaurants and bars and those type of things are, mostly. But on the, north, uh, on the south side, I'm not too sure what's over there. I know there's a big shopping mall because I did go to that mall to watch Avengers Endgame. It was pretty cool, really large screen. But uh, movies, movies, like going to the cinema in Japan is freaking expensive. It's $18, roughly. Well. Sorry, $16 to see a movie. And that is the cheapest fare for a ticket to watch any movie, just a regular movie, $16. There are ways to get like slightly cheaper tickets, um, 
but I, I really don't know how to do that yet. But just in general, if you want to come to Japan and watch a movie here, expect to pay about $16 per person. These Mickey D's. You know, they have some interesting uh, menu items here, only in Japan. Like, for example, here, this is uh, an, an egg double mac. It's like a breakfast sausage, but it's got like two patties. I don't know, what is this? Uh, this is a galbi, like galbi burger kind of a thing. Um, anyways, maybe I'll make a video about that stuff one day. I don't really eat fast food, but I'll just do it for science. For science. So this is the south, uh, sorry, north entrance of Kameari Station. And there's like these little shops, a little soba shop across the way, just lining the street here. All the way down here, it's just all food. There's like ramen and like tonkatsu, udon, um, you know, beef rice bowls, those kind of things. There's a most burger down that way as well. So let's cut through the station. Ah, there is this cool uh, bronze statue of this guy. I forgot what his name is and what anime he's from, but he's a cop. Cool, yeah? yeah. So you can see here, this is this is him in color. Yeah, I just remember him from like the Jump comics, like back in the day. Ah, I'll have the info on the screen. I forget what his name is. Busy spot. The entrance exit of uh, the JR line right there. Oh, there's another statue of the same guy here. I wonder if the artist or something is from this area. Maybe. I don't know. Interesting. There's even the handprint Osamu Akimoto. Sit there. Yeah, I'll have to uh, look this up for you guys and have the info in the description box or actually on the video when I edit it. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a clown. Let's go look at the clown. Oh, he's, he's doing balloon animals. Is it good? <laughs> oh, Roboto! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh my god, that's scary. I hope anyone watching this doesn't have like a fear of clowns because that was probably like really nightmare inducing just now. I want to go in, but I also want to keep walking and just showing you more of the street stuff. There's probably some other places I do want to walk into, like, uh, ooh, for example, let's go in here. This is a fruit shop. Everything in this fruit shop is going to be really expensive. I hope uh, the owner doesn't mind me filming. I'll just pretend I'm looking. There's a box of oranges for 3,000 yen, so like almost 30 bucks. A different cantaloupe for like 1800 Wow, check this out. One cantaloupe for 6000 There's two for 100 Good lord. 
Here's some watermelons. $3,500. That's a $35 watermelon. What else do they got here? They got nice fruit baskets. Um, some apples. There's like three bucks an apple. Four bucks per apple. Grapes. Oh my god, look at this bundle of grapes. It's f like $45. Here's a box of perfect cherries for 5500 Now oh, they have avocados, only 250 Wow. Yeah. A lot of these, they're, they're usually bought as like gifts. Like, yeah. I would never buy that just on its own and then eat it. <laughs> That's way too expensive. Yeah, so that was actually pretty tame. There's places where, you know, like a mango is like $150, you know, for one mango. But when you eat it, it's like the best mango you've ever had in your life. So, I don't know. It's crazy. Oh, there's another McDonald's. is here. There's like another statue of a the police officer here. There's a lot of people right now. More people than I'm used to on a normal Sunday. Mainly because, you know, I live further out. There's not that many people that live out there as compared to here. Um, from Kitamatsudo Station to Kameyari Station, it was, um, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes? It was like a little, maybe a little over 10 minutes train ride. So technically I could walk home from here, but it would probably take a, a couple hours, maybe two hours. If I had a good pace. Um, let's see, what else is here? Oh, I think this is, is this a public bath? It is. So, public baths, so these are very common in Japan, of course. So you go there, clean yourself, shower first, and then you bathe afterwards. And they have um, different tubs with different temperatures. Some are like mild, warm, some are like really hot. Uh, and then they also have ice cold ones too. So, it's supposed to be good for your circulation and whatnot. Very common. If you guys have seen like the the TV show on Netflix, uh, what is it? Terrace House. And you notice uh, they love taking a bath at the end of the day. It's a very common thing. I've done it a few times at my house here. Oh, there's a little arcade here. Let's go in. The lights aren't on. The lights aren't on yet, it seems. We got some uh, yakitori place here. Are they open? Oh, not yet. I think they're they're gonna prepare to open for night service. Uh, here's another yakitori place. Uh, it looks it looks nice and happening. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, what's everybody in line for here? Oh, like milk tea. Matcha milk tea. Oreo milk tea. Wow. Uh, this place doesn't look like they're open yet. Over here, I smell coffee. Oh, it's a coffee roaster. Oh, yeah. Look at all those bags of uh, unroasted coffee. Nice. It smells really good. I'm avoiding caffeine, so unfortunately, I can't try any, even though I really want to. I love freshly roasted coffee. And uh, I don't know if many of you guys know this, I might have said it before in the past, 
But I used to actually live and work on a Kona coffee farm in Hawaii. What is this? Oh, it's a katsu place. A little kat uh, menchi katsu to go. It's like minced meat, like a patty, I guess. And then it's like breaded and then fried. Oh, here's another tea place, Momo tea. What do they use? Black bean? Sweet bean? What is this? Oh, it's tapioca. Seems to be the popular thing. Uh, ooh, got a nice place to just like drink. <laughs> Those places are fun. These little small hole in the walls where you can only fit like six people at the counter and, and maybe four at a table and that's it, like max. Um, really fun environment to drink in. Although a lot of these places, they do allow indoor smoking. And that's where it kind of becomes really annoying because you're in there for like an hour and then you feel like your throat's in, like closing up and then you go home and you smell like an ashtray. Oh, we have a dango shop. They do mochi and stuff here. Oh, look at this. Different mochi. Oh, this one's really good here too. And jellies. Good job. Okay, let's keep walking. So this area, it's, you know, chill. I mean, it's still residential, yeah? Um, it's just like families out and stuff. People are chilling. There's like stores that have everything you need. <laughs> uh, ooh, I see a lot of greenery over here. Let's go look at it. It's very inviting. It's called Kao Kao. Nice, I need to get some plants from my balcony. was crying because the mom's like carrying his bike away and she's like nope <laughs> and he's like give me my bike I want my bike um, yeah I had several people um, request you know over the past few videos I've made if I'm ever gonna be like making a, an apartment video you guys have requested that and I do want to say I will make an apartment video eventually um, currently I still don't have enough furnishings you know like it, it it's going to be a very boring video if I show you just like a blank apartment, like no style to it, you know, no furniture, no decorations or anything. So I do want to do that first. So it's probably not going to be till, I don't know, maybe August ish, August or even September before I, you know, film a proper apartment tour video for you guys. So please be patient. Um, I just want to make it look good for you, you know? Because as is, it's uh, pretty boring. <laughs> Boutique shopping. Uh, what is this? Coin laundry. Yeah, so they do have a lot of coin laundry, I've noticed, all over. No matter where I go, there's always coin laundry. So that's always a good thing. Chill cafe over there. Barbershop. Yeah, I love these little like arcades where they have like the red brick in the street and it's just kind of, you know, open for people to come walking and just chill and whatnot. Uh, oh, what is this? Kai Hale. It's Hawaiian. What do they have here? Uh, they have a poke, lomi lomi, salmon. Interesting. It's like a Japanese twist on Hawaiian food. Happy hour, five to seven. Trefac style. What is this? Oh, it's a clothing shop. Ladies brand. Uh, here's another shop that's selling uh, different sweets. I see jellies and a few mochi. 
Mostly jelly stuff. Okay, what else we got going on here? Here's our dry cleaners. Yeah, I'm kind of going away from the station, so now you can see there's just like less people. What is this? She looks way too happy. And he's like relieving pain on her foot or something. It's like an orthopedic kind of a thing. Um, but yeah, she looked like way too, way too giddy. So he touching my feet. <laughs> Tokyo shoes. Wow, that guy's uh, pants were super baggy, like the Jayanko band. Uh, uh, can't speak. The Jayanko pants from the '90s. Those like kangaroo pants. Uh, what else we got? Um, maybe I'll make my way towards the shopping mall. What do you guys think? Okay, I guess we'll just do that. Because other than that, I'm not sure what else is around here. Of course, you know, this is an exploration video. So we're just kind of exploring around and seeing what's here and there. Boy's like, what is that guy holding? It's a GoPro. All right, I'm gonna try to speed up my walking so we can cover more ground in a shorter time. Your, your guys' time is so precious. I know, you know, like time is valuable for everybody, right? And I'm so thankful that you guys take the time out of your day to watch these like one hour walking videos. Um, it really means a lot to me, for reals. Like, so thank you, thank you so much. Oh yeah, speaking of walking videos and all that stuff, uh, if you guys wanna know the exact route that I took while walking in this video, check the description box here on YouTube. And uh, there should be a Google map link that has the, the route like drawn out. I do it for every walking video. And, uh, you know, if you guys like what I'm doing here in Japan, showing you guys all kinds of different stuff from the street level, what life is really like when you walk around here, um, please give this video a thumbs up and, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. And I'll just keep doing these types of videos for you guys as I've been doing for the past six, seven years. <laughs> so, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep walking. Man, I need a sponsor, like a like a shoe sponsor. Maybe New Balance will sponsor me. New Balance or Asics, the, uh, those two companies have really good walking shoes, but they're kind of pricey. So I'm wearing these uh, like knockoff Nikes from Vietnam. They're uh, not the best. <laughs> My feet hurt, but I did buy uh, like insoles, you know, to put in them, like a gel insert. I'm gelling, baby. And uh, so I've got actually two layers of gel inserts inside of these fake ass Nike shoes. So, ah, yeah, here's a big mall. Should we go over there? Let's cross the street, and kind of go near there. I think there's a shrine that I saw last time I was here. Oh, there's a house being torn down like torn down. I can see it. Let's go look at it. I was actually gonna film a bike ride video today, but then um, as you could see the like the overcast weather, I thought it was gonna rain. So I was like, ah, I'll just film a walking video. Even if it rains, I'll just use an umbrella. Look at this, it's just all bicycle parking. Like so much bicycle parking for the shopping mall. Maybe we'll go in there after we check out this temple. I think that'd be kind of cool. Show you guys what 
kind of like a huge mall looks like. There's a Tower Records here, ABC Mart, Uniqlo, H&M, all that stuff. Big cinema. Yeah, it's interesting to see this, like all these bicycles, compared to like the shopping mall back in Hanoi, Vietnam, where it's just all motorcycles. Like all motorcycles, no bicycles whatsoever. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's just funny to see the difference between the two countries. Yeah, look at the, oh man, they're tearing down this uh, old house. So it's really crazy, you can see actually the interior like this. The layers, you know, let's try to get a little bit closer. You can like pause and take a look inside. Yeah, so trying to make out what's what. Oh, that's like a, that's the closet space, and more closet space. I see a sink on the second floor there through that little doorway. I guess the main rooms and stuff in the living room area are all gone already. But, man, I guess they're gonna build something here later, huh? Ooh, look at this tree. Those leaves are pretty. The ribbing on them. Now, what fruit is that? Do you guys know what fruit that is? I have no idea what fruit that is. Huh. All right. Keep on walking. Oh, what's over here? Sorry, over. We're checking out some of these little side alleys. Ooh, there's a rose. And these uh, little white flowers are really pretty. Someone's walkway to their house, I guess. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. These are nice. Look at that. The colors. Those are great. Almost reminds me of, well, the leaves remind me of strawberries, but I don't know what that is. Whoever lives here, they love uh, plants, that's for sure. Hey, we got some hydrangeas. And, oh, there's a cemetery. I was not expecting that as I came past those uh, plants. Yeah, so we got a temple and a cemetery right across the street from the shopping mall. That's kind of nice. Um, I did not know that this was here, but just across the way, straight ahead, there is a white toady gate white stone gate to a shrine. That's kind of what I was picturing in my mind like when I said, uh, let's go visit this uh, like shrine or whatever before going to the shopping mall. Totally didn't know that this cemetery was here. All right, we're gonna have to, uh, looks like no one's driving so we can at least cross. <laughs> Look at this uh, mural. Well, this is about the shrine, I guess? Yeah. Families, new babies, animals. I'm not sure exactly what it said. Oh, nice. Look at these, uh, like, sea dragon turtles. Turtle dragons or whatever. <laughs> what do you 
What do you know? It's the cop guy again. This guy's everywhere. <laughs> I wonder what he's pointing at. So here's a place where you, uh, you know, cleanse your hands and whatnot. This lady's doing it. rinse out your mouth. Um, there was something over here I saw. It was like something with a soccer club. Oh, this is for children, I think. Oh, I guess if you're gonna have a baby, make some kind of prayer here. Is that what it is? Because look, she's pregnant. There's all these like baby faces and whatnot. That's kind of cool. Oh, with a ping pong paddle. Something about doubles? Do you want to play double? I don't know. So I guess, I don't know. I'm just making assumptions because I can't read all the kanji at all. Um, but maybe babies, children, and like sports praying or something? Like, oh, it's a very famous uh, manga character here, the soccer. And he's also kind of drawn in right here. Yeah, anyways. walk up to the shrine itself and take a look. Wow, this is interesting. So there's the shrine, but then right next to it, this is like really modern looking shop. I think that's the place where they uh, sell the charms and whatnot. Let's go take a look. It's a nice uh, juxtaposition of modern and traditional. Ah, uh, yeah, so this is where you buy the the stuff here and then you write your wishes on them and then go hang them in that one spot. Man, this guy is like all over this place. So a bunch of various charms. That's cute. It's like a little turtle. There's a little chicken. This one's about Kodomo, about the children. Really nice. And check out this shrine. Wow, that's beautiful. The patinaed roof. And then this one has white all over the sides. White paint. Wow. It's an amazing color combination. Black, white, and then patina green. Can we see inside? Uh, oh, this is where you pour your money. Yeah, throw some money in. It says, uh, bow twice deeply, clap your hands twice, and then bow deeply once more. Yeah, so they hold uh, Shinto ceremonies inside there. Too bad we can't go in. And look. Is there anything around the side? Small shrine right there. Neat. All right, let's go. Um, let's go in the shopping mall. Let's just see how crazy it is. It's probably going to be packed because it's Sunday. All the families and everybody is out and about. Okay, so I actually pulled up my phone I'm here looking at why is this uh, why is this police officer everywhere? He's everywhere, okay? And so it says uh, the artist's um, name is uh, Osamu Akimoto and his long-running manga called Kochira Katsushikaku Kameari Koemae Hatsu uh, Hashutsujo <laughs> uh, That's a long one to read um, but it's a police manga and so this guy's super famous and it takes place in this area around Kameari Station. Wow, I did not know that. So the manga takes place at this station. That explains 
everything now. Look at the, oh wow, there's all these different statues here from the manga. And then probably tells you where they're located. And then there's scenes from the manga and then the real life street scene next to it. Here's the market. Yeah, so the manga is based off of this entire area. Oh, the shrine's here too. The shrine is actually in the comic. Look at that. This is very cool because I, I did not know this. Um, I just re remember his face like from ages ago. It was like very iconic manga character. Yeah, the officer's name is uh, Kankichi Ryotsu. He's the main character. Yeah, there he is. Wow. So, that explains it. There we go, guys. <laughs> Yay for Google. Interesting. Was not expecting that on this walk. Okay, let's go. Let's go check out a shopping mall. It's a wide variety of things in this video, huh? Shrines and little uh, alleys, shopping mall. So it goes to show you just like how diverse the environments are here in uh, Japan. Some street food, what is this? Oh, it's the, um, uh, what do you call it? Like hot dog thing on a stick but it's just filled with cheese. I was gonna go in that entrance, but I'm noticing there's all these things on the outside here. There's a Starbucks. Looks like we've got a nice uh, Japanese style restaurant here. So I guess kind of standard with any shopping mall, there's just, you know, places to eat <laughs> in and around the area. There's a buffet across the way there called Palace Buffet. That's a huge thing in Asia. Buffets, Korea, they're all about the buffets too. Inari steak. Oh, Inari steaky. <laughs> so, ramen toride. Looks good. Here's a Chinese restaurant. Uh, ooh, is that a giant bouncy house thing? Oh no, it's a slide. Let's go look at it. Oh, uh, it looks like it's finished. Like they're like taking it down or something. Adi Rio. Come Adi. Are those the mascots for this area? I don't know. Uh, oh, there's like a swimming pool over here. I guess it's because it's the end of the day. It's like after five already. It's like, I don't know, going on 5.30. I guess they're kind of just wrapping it up. Airtime. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, you know what? They had the giant, I see it, it was deflated. They had the giant like trans, transparent sphere that you go inside that floats on the water and you can like run around. All right, let's go into this place. Adio Shopping Mall. And hopefully uh, no one stops me from filming. Ooh, Baskin Robbins. I wish I wasn't lactose intolerant. I'd go eat some ice cream right now. I think 
think there's a there's department store food over here. It's kind of like a supermarket. Oh, they're giving away a Nintendo Switch grand prize. Literally no idea how to play that. Um, let's go look at the supermarket. Well, I guess it's kind of a supermarket. Yeah, it's a supermarket. Oh, it's huge. But usually in the front area, they have all these like really great um, like desserts and cakes and like pre-cooked food, you know? Uh, so bright. Hey, Beard Papas. Those are really good. Um, what do we got here? Is this chocolate? It is chocolate. That's cool. Looks nice. Nice jellies. It's like a gift set. It's tea. There's tea inside of that. Oh wow, there's like street food inside the mall. There's a uh, okonomiyaki. Was, yeah. <laughs> wow, it looks good and smells good, but I'm so full. I ate before filming. I ate a bunch of ramen. There's a bunch of fried chicken. Here's a food court. Food court seating. I wanted to see this over here. Oh, it's um, octopus, like a little baby octopus. And a big octopus body, and they're like marinated. Thank you out. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, this is like in Korea, like Ojingo. Ojingo sunde. It's uh, the squid's body filled with rice and then it's sliced up and fried. Alright, we're entering the supermarket. Hopefully a staff member isn't like, hey, no filming allowed in here. Yeah, pickled stuff. Squid. Ooh, a marinated salmon. That looks really good. Here's all kinds of seasoned seaweed and whatnot. Wakame. Oh, awesome. Really pretty. Hey, sweet potato. Wow, that looks really good. Only 323 yen for that big piece? That's not bad. Wow. All right, uh, are we doing a supermarket tour right now? Maybe we are. Here's the cheese section. What, wait a minute. Rum raisin cheese? Are these, this is like processed cheese, I think. Orange peel flavor, wow. A whole bunch. Uh, these are all like processed. Where's like the real, real cheese? Ah, it's over here. Dishamon berry. It says just natural cheese. Oh, this is Parmes uh, Parmesan, 761 yen. Yeah, camembert. Okay. What else we got over here? Shredded cheese, mozzarella, 
So a bag of 400 grams. How much is this? 598. Is there more over here? Oh, this is like little pizzas. 298 yen, it's very cheap. This is like your uh, take home and bake it. It's sort of like Tombstone or whatever, but probably not as good as like DiGiorno or Tombstone. Uh, what is this, butter? How much is a stick of butter? Um, oh, this is all like margarine. No, wait, is it butter? Oh, 50% butter, 298 for two sticks? Or is that one just giant brick? I can't tell. It's different kinds of like margarine spread. Um, what else is in here? There's the baked goods straight ahead. We've got uh, jelly desserts in and around here. Yeah, it's gonna be like an entire video in itself if I like look at every single item, which I do wanna do, but uh, man. Okay, we're gonna have to come back to this place and do like a full tour. Let's just do like a brief tour. I was just going to show you the shopping mall. I totally did not expect that there was a supermarket in here. Uh, yakitori you can take home. It's different fried goods. Fried katsu. You can get these two big pieces of katsu for 780 yen. You know what's great about these supermarkets? Um, after like six o'clock or seven o'clock at most places, they start discounting these. Oh yeah, here's a good example. So this one, they took 30% uh, off. So they start discounting everything to just make sure they sell it before the end of the day, you know? And it goes fast and they have some really good deals, like 50% off. Um, I've seen 60, 70% before. Yeah, these all seem to be 20, 30%, 30, 30, 20, 10. Ooh, fried chicken. Nom, nom, nom. I like karaage chicken. Okay, uh, what else is here? Here's more, uh, this is salad? This is salad. Let's keep walking. Uh, so many people. Man, this place is loaded with so many different pre-prepared foods. Pre-prepared gyoza. 10 pieces for 500 yen. Omu rice, omelette rice, 398 yen, good bentos, wow, such a wide variety. Yeah, she's discounting everything right here. There's some small sandwiches. Oh, here's a katsu sandwich. 20% off. Yeah, so it's about that time. It's I think it's six o'clock or almost six o'clock. So right here they clean and gut and prepare all the fish. Ooh, sushi. Uh, Inari Zushi. Wow, this is, um, how many pieces is this? 15 pieces for 798 yen. That's actually really good. And I'm sure towards the end of the day, if this is not all gone, it'll be marked down too. Wow, look at this big ass piece. This set, I mean. 
Wow. So many varieties here. This is way more options than the supermarket near my house. Obviously, because it's in a shopping mall, so it's like super huge. Uh, we have tofu, lots of tofu, uh, tofu noodles. Have you guys had tofu noodles? Tofu somme noodles, really good. Like starch noodles. Wow. Um, what else is here? Yeah, we're gonna have to come back and do like a full, full video. I was um, gonna actually do something like this for you guys and just kind of like talk about price comparisons between here and like America or Korea or even like Vietnam, you know, places that I'm familiar with. Ah, it's a lot of beer. What else is it? Okay, so there's quality meat. <laughs> I love that it just says quality meat. Yeah, this is um, a good supermarket to film in. I think because it's just so busy, there's too many people that like, most of the staff don't seem to really notice that I'm filming. Wow, that looks really good. 1,259 yen, not bad. All for grilling. Oh, here's some uh, marinated meat that you can just buy and then like fry up at home. Wow, just keeps going and going. This whole entire side of the store is meat. Alright, uh, this looks like ham and stuff over here. Ham and sausage. Uh, over here is produce. Maybe we can like do a quick zoom through the produce section. Plant. This is called nasu in Japanese. You get like three nice eggplant for how much? 198 yen uh, with tax 213. There's a bunch of salad dressing. This place looks a bit raided. <laughs> it's all kind of taken out. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the supermarket area. And then there's these aisles in the center of it with like, I don't know, like, what is this? Wax paper. Oh, this is for like making bento boxes. Make all kinds of cute little molds. <laughs> like, look at those little cute cats. Um, yeah, standard stuff in a grocery store, I suppose, for Japan, you know. Sauces and seasonings and prepackaged stuff where you can make, like, you know, whatever. Oh, this is all Korean food. This is samgetang. We got packaged samgetang. So I can feel it in there. There's all the stuff that you need. You just boil it up. Mapo tofu. All different kinds of sauces, wasabi, salt. Sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast for you guys. I'm just trying to get to the rest of the mall. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to do like a kind of a walkthrough of every little thing in this store. Um, let's kind of just make our way out right now then, I suppose. We'll have to come back and do like a full tour video. Yeah, men's products, hair dye, 
Here's all the registers. Wow. There's a lot of them and there's not one of them that's closed. Every single one of them is staffed. Wow. That's great. So. All right, I'm just gonna step out. Okay, let's go check out the rest of this uh, mall. There's a... Uh... Okay, here's the food court. What do they got in the food court? Wow. Roast beef don. So it's, it's a bowl of rice and then they have all the stuff on top. You know, meats and veggies and sauces and stuff. That looks really good. Uh, what is this? Niku Ichiban. It's more like rice bowl with meat and stuff on top. An egg. Everybody eating. Um, oh, there's a ringer hut. Nagasaki Champon, Ringa Hatto. This is a famous chain. I used to eat the Nagasaki Champon all the time as a teenager because uh, my high school was actually in Nagasaki Prefecture in Sasebo City. And uh, if you guys ever watched me play Yakuza Zero on Twitch, I actually found the Ringer Hut in the game in Yakuza Zero. And uh, yeah, so they have Ringer Hut in the Yakuza Zero game. What is going on here? Oh wow, it's uh, udon noodles and tempura. Wow. Everyone's got trays and you just like pick what you want. That's great. Yeah, so the only kind of foreign thing you see in here, this is all like Chinese and Japanese food, um, is McDonald's. <laughs> There's no like KFC or Taco Bell or, you know, like Panda Express or anything like that. I think we're hitting the one hour mark like pretty soon. Wow, uh, Sunday, so packed, so many children. All right, we've been going for over an hour. So let's just kind of do a quick tour of the mall and then wrap it up. So many people over there. Hey, you can win a Volvo. This is actually a really nice Volvo. Wow, I like it. I like the SUV better. Yeah, that's nice. Can I have it please? Can I just like take it? Give me the keys. I'll just drive it home. I'll take care of it for you. Uh, this chain here is called Caldi Coffee Farm. It's actually pretty good. Um, they sell all kinds of stuff like Italian pasta and like real good olive oil and you can get like capers and like proper red wine and stuff there. Yeah, so as you can see it looks just like any mall in any other country I suppose. If you've never been to another country um, what I mean by my statement is like you know, almost every city I've been to, every mall I've been to, they all kind of look like this. They're all, you know, modern, they all got the same stuff. There's usually an H&M or a Starbucks inside, uh, a Zara, maybe a Nike store and an Adidas store, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, these kiosks, what is this? Ah, it's uh, roasted soy powder and honey or something? Yeah, it looks like it. 
Looks like a, like very soft mochi or something. And a roasted soy powder. Here's a Uniqlo. I love Uniqlo. I actually have to go here and buy some new clothes soon. Let's go up. Ah, oh, there's a Tower Records here. You know, in America, Tower Records, I think, went bankrupt and closed, but it looks like here in Japan, Tower Records is doing very well. Oh yes, the free massage. Man, these guys are like passed out. <laughs> I would be in there too, passed out. It looks great. Yeah, so Tower Records. Wow. Oisashiburi. Long time no see. Uh, what is this place called? Awesome Store. Oh, it's got like all kinds of stuff, huh? Home goods and decoration. I think I've been to a store similar to this in Korea. It's just like all kinds of quirky little cool knickknacks and like decorative things for your apartment. Um, accessories. going. Yeah, so once again, I do apologize for rushing this part of the video. Uh, I kind of should have predicted that a large shopping mall would take some time to go through. Um, I didn't expect the supermarket area. So, it is what it is, guys. Thank you for sticking around for more than an hour now. So, I don't know, if you guys have any questions about this shopping mall or something, leave them down below, or the supermarket itself as well. And uh, like I mentioned, I will be making like a proper supermarket video. Uh, the only problem is like, Filming, the, the whole filming part is a little bit difficult in my supermarkets because there's less people, so it's like more obvious that I'm actually filming. Um, but that big one that we were just at, that's actually a really good one because the selection was very, very huge. There's so much variety, much more than the one near my house. So I might have to come back here and film in there. And it seems I can actually get away with it without anybody kind of, you know, being like, hey, no, no filming, no camera. Oh, wow. This reminds me of like JC Penney's or something. Like Sears, it's just like clothing and shoes, fashion. I don't think we need to go through there. Uh, there is a Muji. You guys know Muji? It's kind of like a, an amazing home brand from Japan. They're everywhere, Hong Kong, Korea. Um, I think they're gonna bring them to Vietnam as well but it's like just really good affordable stuff for your home. It's sort of like an Ikea, but not. Like, like you can't buy furniture here, but you can get stuff like this for your house, you know, like little organizing boxes and stationery and, well, I guess you can buy furniture. Sorry, I take back what I just said. Because I can see some shelving right here. This is actually really good. Step shelving. Yeah, I need something like that in my house. Curtains, okay, so you can buy sofas and little coffee tables. Uh, let's head out. Yeah, we're gonna be wrapping up the video, guys, real soon. Let's go up to the third floor. Ah, this is 
the Homestyle and Tech Tech Land. Maybe we can like just briefly walk through here. Um, the rest of the mall, I'm sure you guys know what a shopping mall looks like, most of you at least. But maybe we can like browse around in here for just like five minutes, maybe. A bunch of blankets and comforters. Summer blankets. Got dishes, plates and bowls, tea set stuff. Gas burners, portable gas burners, I should say. Pots and pans. Yeah, so really nice in here. Oh, that staff member saw me filming and she was just like, mm, like, she didn't say anything really. Like, don't stop filming. Bento sets, uh, camping gear. Oh, there's a toy section. What else is here? Pokemon stuff. <laughs> okay, the rest of it looks like a, a toy store. Yeah, it's all children's toy stuff. Thomas the Train. Um, Transformers, Legos. Ooh, lots of these uh, Tomica cars. Hey, nice. There's a GTR, a Nissan GTR. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, wow. What a weird walk. What a weird walking video, huh? Oh, nice. There's a Murasaki Sports here. I might come here right after I film, uh, sorry, stop filming and look for a hat. They've got the kind of hats that I like, skater, surf style hats or like street style hats. Yeah, so I might take a look in there. Uh, <laughs> where's a good place to end the video? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and walk, like end the video while walking and talking to you guys. So if you guys have any questions about anything that you saw in this video, please leave them down below in the comments. You know me, I'll definitely reply back to all of you guys. I, I literally reply to every single person to the best of my ability. So um, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this. Hold on one second, but I just got distracted. Look at this. It's, uh, it's like an arcade center themed off of the manga, Shitamachi Amusement World. And they even have like a robot version of the guy. What the hell? Okay, we have to look in here. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to end it, but we're going to look in here just briefly. Wow, even the, the lanterns up top have the character's face. Wow. Uh. It's the drum rhythm game. Uh, he's not playing. Okay. I thought it was a really, really big arcade, but there's this mirror wall, so it made it look like twice the size from like when I first came in. Anyways, lots of uh, games and stuff to play here. And 
There's this guy. <laughs> There's this guy in his freaking underwear, pointing at, I guess, the gift shop? Is this a gift shop? All right, Furla for reals, let's get out of here. Yeah, okay, now the real ending, guys. <laughs> I apologize for that distraction. It was just like off to my left, and I was like, oh man, there's a whole like theme thing about that uh, manga. So, uh, oh, we're actually at the theater. I thought it was the sixth floor. I guess it's the third floor. It's right here, it's called Movix. Yeah, so this is where I watched Avengers Endgame. They have a really large screen. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, well, I'm going to go to Murasaki Sports after I stop filming, guys. Um, like I said, comments, questions, all that stuff down below. Please give the video a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.